ladies this is what's legal in texas it's a number one cause of death it's abortion we call it child sacrifice what we ask people is what does christianity is supposed to look like in a state where child sacrifice is legal we should oppose it right not just to have good say it's wrong but we should make it illegal here this talks about it here but um most people say well i'm pro-life but the pro-life movement all it does is regulate when where and how you can kill babies it doesn't make it illegal so abolitionists just like the abolitionists of slavery say no we should not regulate slavery back in the slave days but we should actually make it illegal and that's what we did we made um, slavery illegal um, black slavery illegal in america so the same thing we don't want to regulate abortion we don't want to say when or how or where you can kill babies we say that we need to make it illegal and we need to have more than a good moral opinion like we can't just say it's wrong but not do anything about it if there was a girl across the street getting raped we wouldn't say oh, i'm against rape yeah. no we would go over and stop the rape i totally agree with you so anyway thanks for listening so yep, i appreciate it you guys have I a good up day. my kids that's for sure yeah i want to ask <laughs> yes so then how would like let's say if i were to get pregnant uh -huh. I, I, that's never gonna happen but, no hopefully it'll happen someday <laughs> yeah well i mean not now <laughs> outside of wedlock hopefully no. not <laughs> Um, but if I were to get pregnant and uh -huh. I don't want to have this baby at this moment, uh -huh. how would I take care of that? Birth it and adopt, give it up for adoption? Or? Well, there, there's a bunch of different things you can do, but what you don't want to do is, it's called child sacrifice. You sacrifice the, the child because you want to finish school, or you sacrifice the child because you don't feel financially stable enough, right? It's, that's called child sacrifice. That's what they used to do like in the, Mai, Mai, um, the Mayan days, is they would sacrifice their children so they'd have better crops. They would sacrifice oh, yeah. their for better you know, you guys are some sun god, yeah, I know. yeah, but we do it as Americans, and we're like 10 times like Hitler killed six million Jews, America has killed um, over 60 million babies. All right, wow. it's totally legal, and even rape like we have one of them around here. You'll see it if you walk around the corner. It says, um, which one of these two children were conceived out of rape, and which one of them was um, conceived out of a loving home, and which one is it okay to murder? See, like, neither one of them. Yeah. Like, there's no good reason for you to kill her, to murder her, yeah. ever. And if, if say, say you got pregnant and you didn't want to have the baby. Or what if I, what, not, not only if I didn't want to have the baby, the baby what if I, my body isn't physically able to have that child? Well, 99.9% .9 of the time when a woman's able to get pregnant, she's able to have that child. Like, it can go to a certain age and then they can do a C-section and remove the baby. Yeah. Right, so you're not gonna get, and we believe as Christians that we're created in the image of God and God is the one that knits us in, his, in the womb. So he's not gonna give us something, you know, that we can not handle, like we can always handle it, right? So, oh wait, you know what, I might have a. Thank you. One was conceived in rape and one was conceived in love. Which one um, can be killed, murdered? Neither. Right. Neither. right. Good job. Hey, God bless you too. Ask mom and dad why it, why it's okay to kill babies and why men don't do anything to make it illegal. They have good moral opinions, good moral opinions, but don't do what it takes to make abortion illegal. It's okay to kill babies just like this. Ask mom and dad why. Why is it okay? We go to church every Sunday. We got time for that. The cause of death in Texas is abortion. 60,000 every year. 60,000 abortions every year in Texas and nobody cares. Nobody does what it takes to make it illegal. Our governor could make it illegal in one day. Can I give you one of these, ma'am? Thank you, God bless you, ma'am. Thank you for rolling down your window. Thank you, ma'am. Here, sir, can I give you one of these? Can I give you one? Quick, well, quick. That, there's 60,000 abortions every year in Texas. Yeah, I got it. And we don't do anything to make it illegal. We try to regulate it. Well, what's that got to do with this church? Well, this church is guilty of being apathetic and doesn't do what it takes to help make it illegal. Apathetic and complacent. <laughs> 60,000 times a year. This is legal. Yep, this is legal. Ask your dad why he doesn't make this illegal. Your dad's guilty. Number one cause of death in Texas is abortion. 
and nobody wants to do anything about it to make it illegal. They may say they're pro-life, they may say they stand against it. Yeah, this church does not believe in abortion. That's not true. No, yes. They have an opinion that abortion is wrong, but they don't do what it takes to make it illegal. Why don't you go to those people who, who don't believe in because you guys are apathetic towards abortion. You may have a good opinion, but you don't take action. I'll pray for you. Well, I'll pray for you too. What does Christianity look like in a culture where there's child sacrifice? It looks like a bunch of gray-haired old men who do nothing about it but go to church. Woe to you, sir.